Today, we're finding some hidden gems on Anglesey. First up is a remarkable bird that nests right on the beach, but with such amazing camouflage, it's almost impossible to see without local expert help. There is a bird that's nesting down just on the edge of where the sand meets the green bits. Do you see the three posts? It's in the middle of that triangle. Can you see it? Yeah. Yeah, it's got sort of an orangey beak and it's got a beautifully striped black and white head and that's a ringed plover. There are over 8,000 breeding pairs of ringed plovers in Britain, some of which live here year round. But in places, these birds are under threat because of their nesting habits. Till they get stamped on. They're quite vulnerable where they are there, really. We have a few visitors here, particularly in the summer, very busy sites. Mm. So these birds really um, are right at the edge and they're struggling in places. Ringed plovers are very protective parents. If there's a potential threat on the beach, the birds will get up and move away as a distraction to keep the egg's location a secret. We just moved off now because there's a dinky just come on. This also gives us a tiny window of opportunity to have a quick peek at the nest. How long have we got, Graham? A few minutes. Right. A few minutes, really, because we don't want to let the, the eggs cool. OK. So if you both follow me quite carefully yeah. behind me, just in case that you actually trample the eggs, yeah? OK. And I'll show you where they are. Hopefully Brilliant. we can find it. OK, keep your eyes open, Mikey. Tell me when you can see them. There. So we only go here, just quickly. Can you yeah. believe it? You see the little... But all the nest is is just a few little bits of shell. Little fragments. I'm really excited Fantastic, about that. Fantastic, aren't they? I've never seen that before. Fantastic. Incubation for these eggs is almost twice as long as most tree-nesting birds because the chicks need to be able to run away from any would-be attacker as soon as they've hatched. To conceal the location of the nest, the adult returns zigzagging its way back in the hope it will confuse anything that might be watching. Tracy loves her plants, so when I suggested her hike in the sand dunes to see a rather special one, she got a flip-flop song. See down there? Oh. That's one of the best places for wildflowers in Wales. Wow, what a view. That is amazing. Here we're on the sand dunes at Newbull Warren, these Welsh mountain ponies have been brought in specially to act as nature's lawnmowers. This has allowed a huge variety of plants to flourish in this harsh environment. And because of the lack of nutrients in the soil, there's a plant that has an ingenious way to supplement its diet. Tracy, this is the piece de resistance. It's called butterwort. And if you have a look at the leaves, the basal rosette at the bottom, can you see how there's loads of flies caught? I can. Have a feel of the leaf. Oh, wow, it's really slimy. Slimy, sticky? Yeah. What the plant does is it produces all that slime the insects land on it, get stuck, and then eventually the plant slowly digests the insect. Absolutely brilliant, an insectivorous plant yeah. on Anglesey. Wow, never thought I'd see one of those here. Over the past couple of nights, we've placed some infrared cameras outside the Cutler's caravan to see if they've got any nighttime visitors. Steve, tell me about the neighbours on the campsite. They're great, we're going really well. All of them? Yep, fine. Well, I've got some news for you. One of the neighbours is a little bit prickly. Have a look at this. <laughs> what was that? It was a hedgehog. <laughs> You're joking? Yeah, absolutely <laughs> chuffed to bits. Oh, wow. I reckon he's, um, he's gone to Max's bowl because yeah. they love eating dog food. Have you ever seen them on the campsite? No. How many times have you been there? Oh, 15 years we've been going. And you've never Brilliant. seen a hedgehog? No. You have hedgehogs under your caravan <laughs> each night when you're down in Anglesey. <laughs> Tomorrow, myself and Steve bid bon voyage to an eel setting off on its final journey. Off into the Manor Straits. <laughs> and things get rough as Mikey and I go in search of seals. 